Hi guys. Okay, I've had a request from a friend of mine um, on how he can enable the 11 meter band on the Expert Electronics software which accompanies the Sun SDR DX radio. Now, originally when they first came out, they, they did the Sun SDR2 Pro, which was um, a low power transmitter up to 20 watts. And in the, the software that came with that radio, you, you could go into options up here, and I can't remember where it was now, but somewhere in here there was a, you could simply check a box, which would then give you the 11 meter band and it was very simple, it just takes you know, a few seconds. However, when they released when they uh, released the uh, Sun SDR2 DX, that option was no longer available, and uh, I think it's all down to legal reasons, because obviously, you know, this is a, an amateur radio, and uh, CB radios are certified, and, you know, you're not supposed to, well, it's illegal, to use uh, an amateur radio on the CB frequency, so... That they they remove that option, so you can't do it anymore. But you can do it, and I'm going to show you how. It's how simple it is to enable the 11 meter band on your Sun and your Electronics Software Expert software. Now I'm going to cover myself here. It's not legal, so do it at your own risk. I'll show you how to do it, but I'll obviously come back after and remove it. So where uh, you know. I'll show you how to do it, but, uh, you know, if you get in trouble, don't blame me. Right, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to close this, close it, close that. And I'm going to go to my file explorer. And we're going to go to Windows, like that. And then we're going to go to Users. And then... Click on your username, like so, and then app data, then local, then find uh, expert electronics, the folder for expert electronics, then expert SDR2, and then what we're looking for is ITU. ITU. That's to, that's to all the stuff to do with the, um, you know, uh, the licensing and all that business. I think. So this is a text file. So we'll open that. Now this is what you're looking for. This is all that's there, and this is what you'll see here. You'll see ITU band 11 meters, band 60 meters. All right. All that we're interested in here. This is the country 224. Obviously, each country has their own number. You know, so in some countries, some frequencies are allowed, others aren't. So, but I'm not going to bother with that. All I'm going to do is change false to true. So I'm not, not very good at typing. Change false to true. And then I'll save that file, like so, and I'll close it, close everything, then I'll open up Expert Electronics again, it takes, it takes a couple of secs. Voila! Here we are. The 11 meter band has, has appeared. So, oh, hang on, I'm not just pressed. Idiot. Press the uh, transmit button. Here we are. 11 meter band. Now, you can't. It's only. It only gives you uh, between the bottom of the uh, European frequency. So the 40 channels. Uh, for the European frequency up to uh, the uh, UK 40, 27, 991, and in between as well. So, 
you know, if you like to uh, do your DXing on the triple five, then you've got that as well. I don't think there's anything on there at the moment. Oh, we're on FM, hang on a minute. So we've got the triple five there. If you want to go to uh, um, FM, go down to the European frequency, onto the 315, channel 31, you can do that. Someone on, on at the moment. That's probably uh, SSB or something. A lot of people use the uh, sideband down here. Germany coming through. Channel 32 on the mid block. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm running through a microphone. Sorry if you can't hear it. Anyway, uh, so that's the mid block. Or if you want to go up to, uh, let's say, channel 40, which is what I used to use a lot. I don't use it much anymore. I like to just use click, just click that. There you go. You can get the exact frequency. This is the proper frequency for the UK 40. There you go. Spot on frequency 27991.25. That's channel 40 on the mid block. So there you go. That is uh, how you can enable the CB frequencies on your expert electronic software but like I said at the beginning of the video it's not legal so do it at your own risk hope that helps guys okay and uh, especially this is uh, especially for um, for Rob who asked me about it not that he's going to use it he's just interested cheers for now guys bye